Howdy folks, this is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Major Minor. Alright, we're at the convention center now, but as soon as we make some steps, the media is upon us. They're countless in numbers, it appears as if they're trying to block our entry. They hold their microphones out, wanting answers. Fukumoto, it's the lucky two. Yes, yeah, news reporter from last night, he's the one who reported the death of Clace. Contest winners, we need to talk. There's some allegations going around. They say this is all just for publicity. And so 90 do not engage the press. They'll try to scare you into talking, but legally they can't get in our way. Just keep walking and they'll move. That is, if they want to keep their careers. Here's that Fukumoto as he says those last few words. Or perhaps they'll ask again later. So he backs away and blends into the crowd. Akron must have intimidated into this mission. But it's for the best, and I'm thankful. I wouldn't have known what to do on my own. Follow me and do not engage. Sin will, Sin will tell you the truth of things, and you won't want to say something stupid. I nod as I find his counsel invaluable. We keep walking and make sure Killa is in tow, and Numi is following us as well, completely unfazed. He must be used to the limelight by now. If he can place his brother, he'd get lots of attention. I look back at the limo. Large cloud blocks Jay's attempts to leave. I feel sorry for her as he's stuck with the press. Now you saw all these eyes on you, eh? Not at all. As soon as he says that, it hits me. A sense of anxiety starts to rise within me. If I was being watched, it could be anybody here. I ask him if we can walk faster, but then I get another text message. Pull up my phone with extreme apprehension. I'm unable to display a calm composure. I'm sure I could play it off as fear of the crowd. Akron has no idea what's happening on my end. Worried, aren't you? Good. Yeah, it's very clear that I'm being followed. They're close enough to see my worry as well. Scan my surroundings, but everyone is watching me. They certainly picked the perfect time to watch. Never be able to tell who it was in this crown. I start to clean it and cling even closer to Acheron. Give him a gentle nudge, pushing him to move faster. He seems to take my single and thankfully does. It isn't much longer until we get inside. We're promptly greeted with the illusion of safety. Take a large breath as we can soon get inside. For some reason, it feels like I'm safe. It's not how one door can make such a difference. I think we scurry away as soon as we get inside. Windows are dim, so it's not too bright, but the bo this bodes well for someone in my situation. If I was being watched, they couldn't do it now. Stand relieved in the, arbor in the lobby with Acheron and Killa. Did a good job out there. You're overwhelmed, but that's normal. You handle yourselves admirably. Thanks. If only he knew why I was actually worried. Actually, perhaps I should tell him. He's, he'd be the last person I want to hide this from. He'd probably know exactly how to respond. Wait until I can talk to him in private. I want you two to wait right here. I'll go find out where Singe is. Do me a favor and don't wander. Walks towards what I assume is the reception desk. I turn to kill and ask him if he's okay. So far, it's been impossible to get a read on him. I know he's prone to zoning out, but this is unreal. I'm good, just overwhelmed. I mean, what are the odds of this? Nothing has gone our way since we got here. We'll be involved with the media now. They'll probably even dig up our paths. Not really cool with that, Lance 90 Luck is definitely not on our side. He's right, this is supposed to be luxurious. Or every dream was expected to become a reality. I think that this hasn't happened is an understatement. It went south in almost every way imaginable. I tell Killa that everything will be okay, although I don't know who I'm trying to convince. There's still a lot more on my plate with the fate of Terra, so I simply say we should wait until we talk to Singe. Yeah, you're right. He turns away and starts to inspect the lobby. It's rather massive, and it doesn't look really foreign at all. In fact, it makes me feel at home. Very modern. I don't stray away at Acheron's behest. Instead, I look at the TVs attached to the wall. They're all playing news reports recorded earlier. It must be a story of interest to Tokyo citizens. As a few moments pass, I realize that's true, but it happens to be of great interest to me as well. Hello, Fukumoto here. I've been lucky to snag an interview right here on the streets of Akihabara. It's a very spontaneous people. Sorry for any background noise, but I think you'll all enjoy our guest. This guy seems to get around. There are no other news reporters in Japan. Gotta yeah, pay Shiva for more artwork. <laughs> she arrived in Tokyo a few weeks ago, but she's under scrutiny ever since. Well, we're here for the real story. I'll get it from the woman herself. Everybody welcome Maxine Armstrong, CEO of Armstrong Incorporated. My pleasure to be here, Fukumoto-san. That's the woman I've run into multiple times. I didn't think she was special enough for her own report. But there's not in the know. Maxine came. Please call me Max. Or very well, Max. You came here from the United States, but nobody knows the real reason why. This has made a lot of people uneasy, given the nature of your business. Chemical and explosive weaponry, right? Jesus. Some say you deal in war. 
It's actually incorrect, Fukumoto. Armstrong Incorporated desires protection. I sell an item that is useless on its own. Our products are a security measure. Any other use is the buyer's fault. We provide a means, not anything else. We have a very thorough selection process. Clients are given mental health exams. We ensure that the client is fit, you see. Tabloids always exaggerate things, but you're no stranger to that yourself. We want protection for everyone, not war. Many of our clients are government suits, but celebrations are within our realm too. If a weapon goes off, it's only to protect. It's easy to make it sound like I'm bad, but the weapons I sell guarantee safety. It's not my fault if they're misused. Oh, well, I see. Thanks for explaining. That's a normal mission statement. Your parents would be proud of you, Max, but can you understand the unease? Some people are scared of your presence, especially since you're keeping secrets. But now Japan is your audience. Do you have anything to say? Something to put us at ease? Unfortunately, I do not. My purpose here is confidential. However, no harm will come to your citizens. My presence here should put you at ease. Offer the most advanced products possible. We could even stop these midnight deaths. There you have it, folks. Max here to stop the mur murders. An amazing goal. Bravo, Max. That's not what I said. That's all the time we have for today, but rest easy. We're all safe. Armstrong is here for a noble purpose. This is Fukumoto signing off. Well, that was pretty heavy. I've heard of Armstrong Incorporated before, but this is my first time hearing about its owner. I never would have thought that it was her. I have to talk to her about it. if I see her again. She'd express interest in getting to know me better. I would like to get her to know her better, too. See that Acheron is on his way back. Hopefully we get to meet with Singe. I was dying to hear an official statement about this. That will get our next move as I walk towards my friends. Hey, thanks for staying put, you two. The conference won't start for a while yet, so we can go pass some time upstairs. Renny, this place must be expensive. Those singes' pockets go pretty deep, it seems. Well, I guess I should go. These people are outside really, these people outside are really loud. The headache is the last thing I want. Should be more quiet upstairs. Starts walking towards the stairs. Me and Killa follow him without question. Guess it's almost instinctual. If he has our protection, we need to stay close. That's what we did as we ascended the stairs. We'd leave the frenzy of the media behind us, but fortunately not for good. Quiet up here, just like Acheron had hoped. He presses his back up against the wall and watches us, then he scouts around looking from left to right. He definitely has a good vantage point from there. Kill leaves my side as well and tries to find a seat. Eventually he sits himself on a nice leather chair. I see a lot of familiar faces around this room. Rook is using his tablet and Numi is pacing around. But then I see some not so familiar faces, although I think I recognize them from TV. It's almost like everyone according to place was here. Maybe they were just clueless as I was about this. I guess I wasn't the only one who wanted some answers. It wasn't long before Rook looks up from his tablet, notices me, and starts to walk in my direction. I wonder how he was handling all of this. I'll answer the 90. Nice to see you made it. I'm assuming that the new guy is Acheron? Too bad the last guard just ran off. Ran off. What does he mean by that? Anyway, no beating around the bush. You're here, so you must know the truth. I wonder if that was wrote, written in post. Like, do you think... The guard running off is the wolf character that Clace had a falling out with. You're here, so you must know the truth. Late last night, Clace was murdered. It says in such an mo emotionless way, it's hard for me to tell if this even bothered him. Instead of prying, I told him that I didn't know the truth. I saw Fukubara reporting on live TV past midnight. Oh, Fukumoto, I hate that guy. He stretches the truth almost every time. You like red, you're a communist. I have no idea how he got that job. He twists words like the tabloids. I'm surprised he works for a real station. Doesn't seem as bad as most reporters in real life these days. That's true, I did see him in an interview with Max. I let Rick know they tried to interview me as well. He mentioned that this was all a publicity stunt. Of course, he'd mentioned that. Listen, don't take him seriously. You'd learn that pretty quickly in Tokyo. But the general population loves him. Honestly, I'm not able to see why. He's just a Sam, a sensationalist. It was harshly worded, but it had some wisdom. Singe is just getting ready. It shouldn't be much longer. Maybe you should get to know the crew. Everyone's still a little shocked, of course, but some friendship might help them. Uniting is what we need to do right now. Rook turns his head and notices someone approaching. It's Fox with a guitar, and he steps with purpose. I guess Rocker is a fine place to start. He's definitely a knowledgeable man. What? A compliment from Rook? Wow, it must be my birthday. Don't flatter yourself. Hey, you're the one who said it. He bows to Rook as a gesture of respect, then he does the same to me, wearing a large smile. Sorry, I'm not one for shaking hands, but with much respect, it's my pleasure. I'm Rocker, nice to meet you, Lanso90. I hesitantly give him a bow and introduce myself to you. Oh, hey. About that? 
That's a 90. I didn't deserve that. Come on, Rocker. Not right now. No need to make his day any worse. This is very important, though. Lance on 90. That was an incorrect bow. You went far too low just now. A bow like that is for an apology or for addressing someone with status. I mean, exceptionally high status. Furthermore, your back was bent as well. You should always try to keep it straight. A good bow could be seen as disrespect. Try and remember the simple fact. To most, 15 degree bow is fine. Around here, it's called a, a shaku. It's meant for equals. I don't mean to rag on you, but I hate to see you offend someone. Well, this is my single to lead. I don't need one of your famous lectures. Isn't Japan, like, kind of mostly past that kind of stuff? Could be wrong, but I think they might be. I've heard way to I've heard way too much about Japan now. Rook gives him a very crooked, crooked and low bow, as if to mock the entire resin Rocker just gave. Surprised that it didn't scare you away. If I were you, I would have run. It can be easily read without knowing it. He thinks he's joking or something, but it always comes off as crass. He's not the best at social interaction. Regardless of my feelings about Rook, it was true. In fact, Rocker's lessons were refreshing. He did legitimately inform me about bows, not to judge or create like look, Rook would always do. I thank him and try giving the bow he explained, 15 degrees with a straight back. Catch on fast, I like that. We'll get along just fine, Lance 9 I know we have some spare time before the speech. If you want to hang out, feel free, of course. You'll be mean shock, too. Because the name shock, it also becomes clear. Shock and Rocker were Cleese as lead guitarists. They perform some of the most legendary solos. From Starstruck, as he walks away, almost is in disbelief. I've heard lots of their music and it was awesome, but here he was talking to me so casually. As if I knew who he was at first, I would have panicked. Can we get Daz, though? <laughs> but both Rocker and Rook had a very good point at some time to waste before Sinja's speech began. And there were so many interesting people up here. I'd love to get to know each and every one of them. Well, I already knew Rook and Kula kill a good enough, but Hakaron was still a mystery, as was Anumi. Shock and Rocker were quite enticing as well. Hanging out with a Rockstar duo would be awesome. Fortunately, I couldn't hang out with all of them. I stay in place, contemplating my next actions. Let's save. We do have some more time on this episode, though. Still haven't made another decision, so we'll just overwrite this one. I think we're going to talk to Akron out of these people. It's not giving me the option to talk to Daz. Should I hang out with the pastime? Uh, Akron, because he's my IRL friend. I decided it'd be best to visit Akron. Getting to know our protector would be important. Perhaps I can tell him about those texts. If anyone knew what to do, it would be him. Standing in the same spot as he was before, his head still rotating left to right as if on a motor. Hope I didn't interrupt his work or anything, it seems like he's definitely in the zone. Hey there, something on your mind? Catches me a little off guard, was it really so obvious? Trust me, it's my line of alert. Reading faces is the most important thing. I'm actually a security guard, you do start to kind of catch on to that sort of thing. You look distraught and maybe even sad. However, I realize my question was stupid. Given the situation, it's obvious. Everything everything is... Oh, that's a typo. This is the complete edition, too. It should be everyone is thinking about the same thing, right? Not everything. Forgive my indiscretion. It won't happen again. This apology is so sincere that I accept it anyway. I have to be honest with you. I feel a bit out of place here. Everyone in this room must have known Clace, but I don't really even know who he was. I mean, other than that, he's a singer feel detached, yet there's one thing I know about grief. It impairs judgment and creates vulnerability. I hope I don't seem rude when I say this, but I think it's better than that we never met. I need a level head here, you know what I mean? Mental clarity is extremely important. I have to detect things that others can't, and trust me, there's a lot to detect. That's where those fox years come in handy. There are so many subtle nuances at play. If I missed out on that, it'd cause chaos. People will project things without knowing. You can tell when somebody wants to attack, it's easy to sense their words, or if they're silent, their movement. I can't afford to have my mind clouded. If it was impaired, you wouldn't be safe. In fact, you'd probably be sitting ducks. Since I know a lot about this stuff, I can sense a lot of wisdom in his words. It feels good to have my life in his hands. With him here, we'd all be kept alive. So what would you like to talk about? We still have some time to spare. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps not as much as we think. Since we call a meeting at any second, so I can only bring up one thing. What should it be? Getting these weird texts. What brings you here? Let's tell him about the text. It seems the most important, right? Probably best for me to bring up these messages. I pull up my phone and start explaining things to him. Someone is watching you. How long has it been since the first text? I told him that was just before we drove here, the moment I left the hotel with Killa. So after his death, then, that would be a cause for concern, and they're using an unknown number, so they want to hide their identity. 
the issue here is they must be lying. Huh? They said they were watching you, both at the hotel and outside. They need to be following in a vehicle. There's no other explanation. They couldn't keep up with the limo. I saw no other vehicles following us. Huh. He stares at the text messages for a few moments. It's almost like he's analyzing their demeanor. Can you do such a thing through text messages alone? They mentioned the universe. That to me sounds like some petty trolling. Metaphysical jargon is a dead giveaway. Maybe your number was leaked online. I don't know exact. You don't know exactly how to blend in anymore. You're one of the lucky two. Either way, I can't help much. Text messages are hard to look into. Things get lost in translation. If your information was leaked. Well, that's no mathing ladder. I'll be here to protect you, Lanso90. Gives me a wide grin. I guess now he knows. I feel a little bit safer knowing, having not kept this to myself. Thank him for his counsel. No problem, it's what I'm here for. Please talk to me about any concerns. Your worries are of the utmost importance. Guess that's enough chit chat for now. I feel like Singe will be ready any second. Not sure about you, but I want answers. I have way too many questions, so ask him. I don't trust the media, of course. I need to hear it from the man himself. Place his tour manager, the leader. I require the truth in order to operate. I can't act on half trust half truths and gossip. That's just a recipe for disaster. Be sure to keep that in mind, all right? I can't help unless you're transparent. I'm unable to read minds, unfortunately. I nod, since that's a small price to pay for salvation. But at the same time, I know I never can be honest. I have to hide some information about the Ark, as well as my role in Terra. You'd never believe me. Just have to hope that you can never detect this. It wasn't really relevant to anything on Earth, after all. And no need to get an innocent bystander involved. Oh, one more thing before we end this. On the note of being fully honest with me. I saw a news report earlier. It mentioned Maxine Armstrong. She's in Tokyo, and this bothers me. You saw it too? That's interesting. Didn't think you'd be the type to care. Armstrong Incorporated is very unethical. In fact, they compete with guards like me. They protect through selling weapons. Think about it this way, Lance and I. Would you rather have me here, or bombs that could accidentally bet detonate? How does that really make sense? Are they, are they like, trip mines? Because... <laughs> Like, if you're dealing weapons, you'd have to have people to use them anyway. So I guess I guess they mean, like, trip mines or something. I don't know. Doesn't really make sense, though. It's too unstable in this day and age. Everything can be hacked now. Doing that to weapons could be devastating. Maybe turrets? Oh, maybe turrets. The mind, however, cannot be hacked. I mean, it can definitely be manipulated, but not in the same way and not as fast. So what do you say? Protection by living beings or weapons? Which would you prefer? I prefer the real thing. Glad that someone is on my side. More people are sitting, siding with technology, but it can never replace the real people. Because I still don't really know what it meant by hiring explosives. Doesn't really. Anyway, some things still require deep thought. The protection of others is one such thing. I've never trusted a machine with my life. Well, thanks for the chat, Lanso 90s. Not that often I get to talk about myself. Clients are rarely interested in my life. Usually only care about my ability. He goes back to what he's doing before, scanning with his room with the back to the wall. I guess Sinj would start with the conference soon. Not enough time to get to hang out with someone else. Yes. We'll do a separate save this time, because we actually had an opportunity to ask more questions there. We could reload and ask him other questions, but the game's going to be pretty long already, I can tell. But, uh, it's going to be a little bit of an early end again. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.